Hello and welcome to the Schedule View Appointment Scheduling Software Demonstration Overview. In this video, we're going to just give you a real short overview of how Schedule View works. Um, for informational purposes, there are three editions Light, Standard, and Plus. You can check our website and go to the product section uh, to see a grid of the different features that you get in each one of these editions. And you can also change between those editions in the demo that you can download and use for 30 days and actually see which features are available in each of the editions. In certain editions of Schedule View, uh, we also sync with QuickBooks and Outlook. And with the Plus edition of Schedule View, we also let you publish your schedule to the web for your staff or customers to view and or edit their appointments. Schedule View works great for scheduling professionals, service businesses, medical offices, group scheduling, other offices. Basically, if somebody needs to schedule a time to come in and see you for some kind of appointment, um, or if you're a service business where you're scheduling a tech to go out to either a customer's home or business for service or work, um, it should work great for you too. Uh, we're excited uh, that you're viewing this demo and would love to hear back from you. And uh, please feel free to call us at any time and we can give you a demonstration of uh, Schedule View and um, personalize it more for your particular business. So this is the main screen in Schedule View. Uh, we can switch between uh, different staff members right here. Uh, we could click on that equal sign and move between different staff members right here. Uh, once we have a staff member uh, selected, we can switch between a day, week, or month view. The month view is basically just for finding uh, open time slots, which are in white. The other thing that we can do, and which is a very popular feature of Schedule View, is switch to a group view. A group view is to see people's schedules side by side. So in this instance, we have a group of three staff members. Tommy Thompson, Alma Unger, Wendy Wallace, and we're viewing their appointments side by side. Uh, we could do the same again for a week uh, or a, a month view. Uh, we can uh, make an appointment simply by double clicking on an empty time slot. At this point, we can either start typing in a, uh, a patient or customer's last name and select them. Um, if they're not in the database yet, we can right click and choose a new customer and add them at this point. Um, or if we don't want to add them to the database at all, uh, we could just type in their name and um, uh, enter an appointment without adding them to the database, which is useful maybe for salespeople or people that are only going to be um, in your office once or twice. Um, and maybe not uh, uh, as a, a customer or client or patient. Uh, you could enter the phone number at this point. Um, you can choose a service code that uh, somebody's coming in for. A service code is for the reason for this appointment or visit. Uh, again, you can right click and add one at this point uh, if you wanted to. Uh, we can overwrite uh, the color if we want to for this appointment. Uh, because we clicked on this time slot for this particular provider, they're showing up here already as uh, the, the provider. Um, it's useful to see this button here at the top here, Advanced. You notice when I click on it, it kind of collapses the screen a little bit. Uh, sometimes uh, we get uh, support questions that say that uh, they lost some information on this screen, uh, and it's simply because we've got two different uh, um, uh, views of this screen. Some people want a more simple screen. They don't want all those additional fields. Um, so you can just toggle uh, between those different views. Uh, we can also enter notes uh, for this particular uh, appointment. And then on some editions of Schedule View, we allow you to have definable uh, fields for the appointment. And then we also allow you to attach uh, documents uh, to uh, this particular appointment also. You can also uh, quickly print uh, reports in Schedule View. Uh, you could print a, an appointment list, which is basically what we're looking at on the screen. 
uh, for this particular group on this particular day. Uh, we can modify the report parameters if we want to, uh, or we just go ahead and click on Preview. Uh, and that's the appointment list report. A lot of people like this grid view that we're looking at on the screen with the columns and rows. If you want that report, just go to Report Schedule Grid. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Preview, and that's just exactly the screen that we were looking at uh, right here. We have lots of other additional reports. Some of these reports are based, uh, all of these reports are based on the edition that you purchase. Uh, the standard and plus versions have more reports uh, and allow for more customization of schedule view. If a, a patient or client or customer were to call on the telephone and ask when their future appointments are, uh, we could either easily click on that icon right there, start typing in their name, and all their future appointments now will show here on this list. And we could call or tell the patient, client, or customer of their upcoming appointment. We can also send email reminders to uh, your clients, customers, or patients. And we also have an additional optional service that will call your patients, clients, or customers with appointment reminder calls uh, to remind them of their messages. Uh, you can also send reminder messages either printed on paper uh, or uh, send email messages, uh, email reminders. That about wraps up this uh, overview of Schedule View. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and we have some other demos, uh, videos if you'd like to watch uh, some further more in-depth information. Again, thanks for viewing and have a great day.